Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is in Adobe After Effects CC 2023. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use merge paths to cut shapes out of other shapes, similar to the Pathfinder tool in Adobe Illustrator. First, create a new composition. I'm using 1920 by 1080 pixels, 10 seconds in duration. Next, go down to the Layers panel, right-click or Control-click, choose New, Shape Layer. Twirl open shape layer, go over to where you see add, click on the arrow and select ellipse. Click on the arrow one more time, add another ellipse, click on the arrow one more time and choose fill. This contents is a group and the way groups work are from the bottom up. So this fill color is affecting everything above it. So if I was to take the fill and bring it above the ellipsis, the color goes away. If I bring it in between them, now the fill is affecting ellipse path one, but not affecting ellipse path two. And now I'm gonna rename the ellipse layers to keep things organized. I'll select the first one, hit enter or return. I'll call this outer. This is gonna be the outer circle of the donut. I'll select the second one, hit enter or return, call this inner. This is gonna be the circle that we use to punch the hole through the donut. Next, I'm gonna scale up the circle a little bit so it's easier to see. So I'll select the shape layer. I'm gonna tap S for the scale property. And I'm just going to increase the size of this. I'll twirl back open the shape layer, twirl open contents. Now I'm going to go to the fill and pick a new fill color. I can click on the color swatch or I can just click on the eyedropper tool and select a fill color. Now I want to resize the inner circle. So I'll just twirl that open. I'll go to the size property and I'm just going to scale that down. So I'm just going to get an approximate size of the circle. And now it's time to add the merge path so I can cut a hole in this donut. Select contents, go back to add and click on the arrow and select merge paths. Twirl open merge paths next to mode, click on the drop down, and we're gonna select subtract since we wanna take one shape and subtract it from another shape. But I do encourage you to experiment with these other options as you can create some really unique shapes. But we're gonna choose subtract and when we do so, that inner circle knocked out a hole in the outer circle, making a donut. Not happy with the size of the donut hole? We'll just twirl open enter, go to the size property. Now you can fully customize it any way you want. Okay, so how about a crescent moon? Well, I'll twirl open enter. I'm gonna increase the size of the inner circle. I'm gonna change the position. I'll move it over to the right. Now we have Pac-Man. If I just keep increasing the size though, now we've got a crescent moon. And how about the Lone Star? I'll go to Inner Circle, I'm gonna hide the visibility, go back to the Add menu, click on the arrow, I'm gonna choose Polystar. Now that's kinda of big, so I'll twirl open Polystar, I'm gonna to go to the outer radius, and I'm just gonna decrease that outer radius, and because Merge Paths is set to subtract, the Polystar shape is knocking out a hole in the outer circle and a fast and easy way to add some movement to your donut or other shapes. Go to the add menu, click on the arrow and choose wiggle pass. I'll twirl open wiggle pass. I want this to be real subtle. So I'm gonna change the size to 0.5. I'll keep the detail at 10. I'm gonna change it to smooth and I'll change the wiggles per second to three. I'll tap the space bar to preview and that is merge paths in Adobe After Effects CC 2023. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.